In today's discussion, I'll delve into the impending short squeeze on AMC. Backed by evidence illustrating that short sellers are not closing their positions, but rather doubling down, a strategy that's akin to kicking the can down the road. This approach, as history teaches us, often leads to a more significant downfall. While an article primarily focuses on commercial real estate, a quote within it perfectly encapsulates the short stance. It emphasizes that postponing actions leads to graver consequences, a scenario that aligns with what's happening with the MC short sellers. Hey, welcome to a MC Daily. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell. So you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. But everyone remember this is not a financial advice video. To comprehend how shorts are prolonging their positions, let's analyze their tactics. Biotech Moose highlighted a game called Double Down, Never Close, and Never Exit, mirroring the short strategy. They persist in doubling down on their short positions, aiming to suppress a MC price for as long as possible. Consequently, they've expanded their short position exponentially, as evident from legally disclosed short interest reports. Over time, their short interest has ballooned from 16 million to nearly 52 million shares, marking a substantial increase. IC Assistant's tweet further underscores this point, revealing a staggering 361% surge in shorted shares over 18 months. The short's persistent doubling down is a risky game that's bound to result in significant repercussions. Moreover, Cinemark's recent double upgrade by analysts, coupled with the resurgence of movies, seems to favor Cinemark over a MC in mainstream media narratives. However, this narrative overlooks the fact that a movie resurgence benefits both Cinemark and AMC. Contrary to mainstream perceptions, AMC CEO Adam Aaron tweets shed light on a promising future, with an encouraging film slate for the upcoming years. This outlook undermines the short thesis, suggesting that a MC profitability will soar, consequently driving its stock price higher. This narrative mirrors past instances where companies' improved profitability led to short sellers being liquidated. The narrative takes an interesting turn with Antara Capital predicament, having incurred significant losses and facing the possibility of collapse. This serves as another example of hedge funds struggling due to their AMC positions. Furthermore, developments in South Korea, where short selling has been banned, demonstrate its positive impact on market stability and influx of foreign investment. Such measures could be beneficial if adopted in the U.S., potentially attracting substantial overseas investments while curbing market manipulation. In conclusion, the evidence suggests that a MC short squeeze is imminent, fueled by shorts persistent doubling down and market dynamics shifting in favor of the company. As the narrative unfolds, it becomes evident that a MC resilience and potential for growth may soon lead to a dramatic turnaround, leaving shorts with no choice but to cover their positions, further amplifying the stock upward trajectory. Guys, that's all we have for you today. What is your opinion about a MC stock? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.